Flavor 675. A&M Doctrine Searches Through Hopes and Fears for the Future. A&M Doctrine Searches Through Hopes and Fears for Future. Fears that fears of people not receiving salvation and hopes that people will receive salvation and fe- hopes for a better world, a, a resurrected world, a world to come, ideas like that. So, you know, in those hopes and fears which go through the a and which go through me, I'm sort of, there's expressions of, you know, desire for this to be the case, such and such to be the case. But then there's the fear, which sort of equates with sobriety. I suppose not. Let's live in the real world. This is reality. This is the reality of the situation. If that's just vain, wishful thinking, dangle, resurrections are fantasy. And this is the world. This is the way it really is. So, you know, hopes, fears, aspirations. That's that's the Bible in some ways of its prophecies, which never really seem to come to be, do they, people, you know? All your doomsday preachers, it never really happens. The Lord never returns, does he? Never really does. So, you know, it's like all this debate, Torah prophecies, is it scripture, are the prophets really teaching God's teaching? All of this is an expression of hopes and fears, desires for a better world, and so forth. It's it's a natural biblical thing, what the advancing Noah movement and the Noah videos bubble is going through is a natural biblical theme and a biblical idea and searching for it and desiring for, for a better life and a better world where, you know, family and loved ones are returned to you and it's all a lovely world to come, a glorious kingdom of God. It's certainly a natural enough idea, but what the truth of it, well, that's what all the hopes and fears and searching is all about.